I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about uh, AI and I was talking to uh, my head of HR and I was questioning something. How many SaaS companies are glorified spreadsheets and how disruptable is that going to be in the future when it comes to AI? Here's what I mean. We have tools that our team members input data into. We ask them questions, we survey, um, whatever it might be, right? And uh, these SaaS products that we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year with in aggregate, uh, they process and store that information that our team members put in, and then they give us an interface to run reports and query against that, and, um, and that creates value because they've worked through the work. However, I'm starting to question some of these SaaS products that, that we pay for, because I'm thinking if I got rid of them, let's just say that we have three or four products that cost us in aggregate $100,000, okay? If I get rid of, their, of them and build instead spreadsheets uh, or forms that ask my, my team members the same kind of questions, and then I hire like a developer for the same money that I was spending for the tools, could I have a developer basically say in ChatGPT, I want, because my, my team members still have to input all this information. So I'm still doing the work. So my team members are putting all the data in. These companies aren't layering other people's data over our data to create value that I can't get somewhere else. They're not giving me intelligence to say, hey, here are the trends we're seeing and how your team members are answering these questions and whatnot. That's all on us. So what it made me think of is how many SaaS companies are a glorified database? with an interface that I need because I don't want to build brand new software, brand new workflows. But if I take all the data that my team has to enter anyway, store them in a database myself, and then allow my teams to then natural query against that, the, the, those, the information that we put in, I'm basically getting pretty much the same value. And then I can build that with minimal maintenance over time and save my company a boatload of money. I could be completely off on this, uh, but I think more and more in terms of how many SaaS companies just might literally not be taking my, like I said, my team's answers and comparing them to other people that I don't know or something that adds value on top of. How many SaaS companies are just an interface in a spreadsheet or a, da a database that my team has to do all the labor to get the data in? They don't add any intelligence, the, the company, the SaaS company doesn't add any intelligence on top of my inputs. They do give me an interface to easily get it and documentation, but how important is that interface and documentation in a world where I can now lateral language my questions into a chat GPT? That's what I'm wondering what's on my mind today. What do you think?